Now, as far as using the rebounder after exercise is concerned, as William's doing here, just a very gentle bounce, just up and down. You can make it bigger if you like, get a little bit of height between the legs, or you can just do a gentle up and down motion. All of that bouncing is stimulating the lymphatic system, and it's also helping to get any little stiffnesses, any quirks, out of the body. Maybe you've just gone for a very heavy run and you've been holding your neck and shoulders in a tight position for an hour or two. Maybe you've been lifting some weights. There are plenty of forms of exercise that can cause added tension in the body. Residual tension that carries over even after you've finished exercising. Rebounding is simply a great way of shaking it out. If, if William, for example, there you go, loosens the shoulders off, arms go, great lymphatic stimulus, great, great way of getting blood to the extremities, a great way basically of just getting rid of all the little stiffnesses we pick up through exercise or even through sitting typing at a computer all day long. So, as an uh, after exercise, if you like recovery exercise, do your usual session and then either as part of your cool down or later on, just like when you're you know, about to you know, pack up for the day, go on a rebounder, five to ten minutes is plenty. Three is fine, just basically a bit of gentle exercise as a post-recovery, post-exercise recovery aid. Nice and simple, work the body, allow cool down, return to normal temperature and you're done.